Hey, five more miles to go. Let's go. Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. Uh, I don't know what day it is. Uh, Nico D Daily Problem. <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. And here's the uh, Larry could probably talk a shower. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day six of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about you know this problem. As you saw from the intro, today is my long one. Uh, on a deload or back off week so only 50 miles this week uh, next week is my peak week so I'm already dreading it a little bit not gonna lie I'm still beat up still a little tired still just didn't sleep enough but yeah but um <clears throat> but yeah for today let's take a uh, that's what I have I mean I'm, I'm too tired to think today uh, so let, let's ch chat about today's problem 70, 70, 778 swim in rising water okay so you're given a, a square matrix n by n uh, where you have the height at IJ, so we're still doing height map type things. It starts raining and the water accumulates over time, okay? At time T, the water level is T, meaning any cells of elevation do, 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 is, t, is submerged or reachable. You can swim from one square do, 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 only if the elevation are at most T. You can swim infinity distance in zero time. Of course, you must stay... Yeah, This setup, I don't even know what they're asking for. It already feels like connected components, which we've done quite a bit for the last couple of days, so we will see. We turn the minimum number of time you can reach to from the bottom square if you start at the top left square zero zero. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, 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 a okay, like um, <clears throat> connected components for a given T. Um, I think the, I do want, huh. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think there, 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 there are basically two major ways of doing it. One is just setting this up as a shortest path problem, right? Of course, you're trying to get from zero, zero to the corner, and then you just have to set up so that, um, you know, in a dice drill kind of way, um... Yeah, in a dice drill kind of way, just um, sorry, I'm like trying to think through it because I don't think this is the way that I would do it. But uh, but yeah, but just in a dice drill kind of way, just the shortest path where the um, the complexity is just or the the, the edge is um, the max of the two cells, right? So going from z well, not even the max of the two cells, it's the max of the path up to that point and the next cell, right? Um, which is a little bit awkward. And then the other one is just a binary search, right? Um, because given a certain X, um, <clears throat> given a certain target X, you can see whether X is uh, binary searchable, right? Oh, sorry. You can see whether it is connected and then you can binary search on that. So that's how you can make it binary searchable. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the idea. And the reason why stuff like that works is because connectivity is linear, right? In a number of cell. And of course, I feel like I, I say this every time and I don't know if people just not pay attention or skip forward or they watch it on too fast. But input si linear is, in the, in, in, is relative to the input size, right? And the input size is not always n. For example, in this case, the lin input size is n square. So when I say linear, it is n square, right? You know, it is linear in the size of the input, not linear in the size of n, which, I mean, I guess it's not, it's not, it's not but the general n in, in notation often refers to the input size and not necessarily the number or whatever input that they give you themselves, right? In any case, but then the, but then the tree aside, um, as a result, um, you could even imagine that all the biggest numbers are, you know, 2 to the 64, but because of a binary search, you, you do 64 loops, 64 loops times linear is going to be fast enough, for the, usually. And n is 50 in this case, so it's definitely fast enough. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, 
Uh, what I mean is that I I could do it both ways. It doesn't really bother me. What what I would say is that what I likely do or did is with uh, union find and binary search. Um, I don't remember what I did last time because, like I said, I don't I don't usually remember it because, you know, why bother? So what I'm going to do is control cheat by looking at my last submission, and then I'll do the one that is not the last submission. I think that's fair, right? Oh, and the last submission was like five, four, four and a half, four and change years ago. So quite a long time ago. Okay. So yeah, so I did do it with Union Fine and... Um, oh, actually I lied. I mean, I was... <clears throat> I was wrong, huh? I mean, maybe I was thinking of another problem. I mean, this obviously also works in that this is a bit of minimum spanning tree. Well, it's not a minimum spanning tree, sorry. Huh. But it, it has like... I mean, it is kind of like a, a... I mean, it's not a spanning tree, but it is something like that idea of, okay, you have all these edges, you just want to know two of them are connected, so then you keep on connecting them until, um, you know. And in that case, you have like a minimum structure. And, well, I mean, you do actually create the minimum spanning tree for MST, but... As a result, um, the answer is a subset of the minimum spanning tree. So you don't technically need to find the complete minimum spanning tree. But yeah. But okay, so I lied. I mean, or, or not that I lied, I, I was wrong. I mean, I did end up using union find, but it turns out I did neither of those solutions. And there was a third solution with minimum spanning tree idea. Anyway, how did I do this one? Did, at the time before that, I did binary search. And this was six years ago. And six years ago, I was you know, still a good programmer or good competitor programmer, but I was always very weak at binary search, and it's kind of funny to look at it now, um, as I was, I, I was good, but I, I think I didn't establish how I want to do binary search, so I write this really awkward thing instead. Um, what that does is that I, I worry about off by ones, so I just binary search until they're like five numbers or whatever within each other, and then just do a for loop to get the right answer. I mean, it, which is kind of uh, like a nice, like if you have to rely on it, it's not the worst thing in the world because it just does five more operations than the quote unquote true, uh, or five more, five times linear more uh, than the true binary, the optimal binary search. So it's not a big deal, but um, but still kind of nuts. Okay, so I guess in that way I did do the binary search. So let's try to do it with Dijkstra. Is what I was going to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know there's square, but I don't think it matters that there's square, so we can just do this instead. Uh, yeah. And then now we do a shortest path, right? With, with a heap. I'm trying to think whether you can do. No, I, I was trying to, try to think whether you could do it with a BFS, like a 0 1 BFS or something, but I don't think so. Um, yeah. And, uh, distance, I just call it distance. I was going to try to like call it time or something, but maybe that's too confusing or that's unnecessary. Right? <coughs> and this is just going to be standard dice draw setup. So if I'm a little bit light on the explanation, that's basically why. I mean, I, I don't know. It's not. Uh, now we're going to set the, the corner, so zero, 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 right? That's the distance uh, x, y, right? Uh, we also have to set up the distance. Uh, yeah, and now distance x, y is equal to um, uh, hip q dot hip pop, right? Uh, h. And then now we want to same thing directions to to do the up down left right. Uh, we did it in the last couple of days. So I'm not going to go over this in too much detail, but just well, you, it'll make more sense if you kind of um, see what I do next, which is you know go through it right. But I don't know. I mean it's fine. I've also been writing this for so long that like or some variation of it for so long that <coughs> that yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, All right, so we have to make sure that it is inbound, right? Uh, 
and <coughs> distance of nx and y is greater than distance of x y. Oh, uh, it distance. So the function is going to be the distance which we get from here. Um, technically, it's also distance of x y. I suppose actually, um, because otherwise, then you're not real. And also, I, I wow, I made a mistake, which is that if distance of x y is not equal to uh, distance. Oh. Oh, I call it use distance twice. That's why I'm confusing. Okay, so let's just call it D. D, then we just continue. Right? Oh, I, I, I gotta stop doing that. I mean, I, th this is how I always win it, but I think for for the daily problems, it is easier if I just write, um, just create another thing uh, to kind of illustrate uh, what, what, what you want to do before you're more comfortable. Right? And then now you've done. Right, and then now basically, uh, oh, yes, that's thing to do. This is force, and then now, if done x y, then you just continue. So the idea here is just that we don't use the same node more than once because the first uh, dice draw is a greedy algorithm, and that also means that the first time you, um, uh, what's it called, relaxed a cell, it is going to be your optimal. So any time you look get to the cell later, it will never be better, right? So. So that's why you know write something like this. Um, it doesn't always come up, but but if you're sloppy about this, sometimes it will time out. As on contests, I think like a, uh, at a certain point, it does happen a lot. Um, but honestly, other than and this max function. Everything sh and hopefully it's right. So if I say it, but uh, other than that, everything should be uh, standard. Um, standard. Uh, what you might call it? Standard dice draw. <coughs> Sorry, typing too much. Can't think. But uh, also. Uh, uh, what's it Uh, is it all times C or all times C minus one, maybe? Yeah, it looks okay. So let's give it a YOLO submit. Hopefully we're right, but I'm too lazy to actually check it. Oh, no. Um, what did I, oh, why did I, I think it's just too natural. Uh, well, what happens is that both distance of zero, 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 distance is zero. It's just that it is so like, ingrained in, in me to kind of just, I mean, or not even ingrained, it's just like a, a, a whatchamacoy, right? Like, um, uh, it, it's just so like autopilot because I've been this a million times that way that I just didn't think about it, which is always like a, 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 a silly gotcha mistake, uh, for, for Larry. Um, because I'm just like, you know, you're just trying to be fast for me, right? I'm always trying to be fast. And as a result, sometimes I just didn't pay attention and just kind of autopilot it away uh, in a standard way that is sloppy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, this is, like I said, Dijkstra, right? Each node, each node, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, each node will be in the heap um, once per edge, say, at most, which is all of V. Technically, the V is, uh, yeah, uh, number of edges is four times V, so O of four times V is just O of V, right? Uh, no, number of nodes, uh, as a result, then each pop and push will be log V, and um, or, or for V or Y if you prefer, whatever. Uh, but for And that's only specific for a grid, of or a grid in which there are only four times V edges, right? But yeah, other, uh, and yeah, for each V, each uh, we you know we, we only do it once and for each of that once we do f at most four operations four log v operations so that means that we have five log v which is a uh, v five times v log v which is big o of v log v right v being the number of vertexes uh, and v number of vertexes or number of cells is of course r times c 
So it's going to be all times C log all times C, right? And for all times C is 2,500. This is going to be blazing fast. I'm not, you know, I didn't really worry about it. I actually didn't see the one time, but I mean, you know, it's fast. Maybe not faster, but it's fast. Fast enough. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And, and yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.